Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Application Gateway. Today we will discuss how do we use Application Gateway to secure API management APIs. So we would like to apply the security onto the API management with the help of Application Gateway. Let's see how do we use the Application Gateway to protect our API management. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be A Learner. So let's first of all understand the project architecture with the help of uh, with this whiteboard session. So we have a certain number of backend APIs written in Azure function, web app or AKS. So these are the backend APIs we have here in this project. Let's say backend APIs are hosted on some, some private IP address. And now these APIs are basically protected or the proxied over the API management. And this API management has a security requirement so that we don't want to expose the API management directly over the internet. And that's the reason this API management is configured as an internal mode. So we have got the internal IP address and then uh, it can only be accessed from the virtual network or the subnet within the virtual network. We do have a requirement wherein there are a number of customer who will be or the number of processes within the virtual network subnet, they will try to access the certain number of APIs from the API management. So this is the process which is trying to show here. Apart from that, we have certain number of customer who will be trying to access the APIs from the o internet. So there are some external partners, vendors we have who would like to access our APIs which we have exposed through the API management. But like I said, our API management is not exposed over the internet. So we have an application gateway in place. So what application gateway is doing, application gateway is a front facing component, which is protecting our API management. So anybody who is trying to access the APIs sitting in on the API management, they will not directly access the APIs from the API management. They will route the traffic via the application gateway. So any request to those certain number of those APIs will go via the application gateway and the application gateway will route the traffic to the API management like this. Now we don't want all everything to be exposed over there. So we, we have certain number of APIs like the external type of APIs. Those are the APIs only exposed to the external partner, but there are some internal APIs we don't want to expose those kind of APIs to the external vendors or any third party provider basically. That's the reason we are just have, we are going to configure the path based routing to our application gateway. And that will make sure that only a specific, only request to a specific path will carry over to the backend, which is the API management. If the requirement doesn't match, for example, the path doesn't contains the specific path, then the request will be sent to the backend pool. It means uh, the sync backend pool. It means that those kind of a request will be blocked. Okay. So that's how the overall process. Now let's see how do we configure the API management and the application gateway with the similar configuration. This is a very, very common configuration you might want to do in any of your project. So this is going to be really important to understand how do you configure such configuration in your project. So I have the API management here, which we have created in the internal mode. You can see that when you create an API management with internal mode, you get the public IP address as well as the private IP address. It, if you have the private IP address, it means it's internal you can verify that configuration from the virtual network option and you can see that the api management is configured with the internal mode and it's restricted to this virtual network and over this particular subnet make sure if you are trying to perform the similar setup make sure the subnet which you are trying to use it's the dedicated subnet for the API management. We, you should not have anything else apart from this particular subnet. On top of that, we have configured the custom domain for the API management. So we do have the 
एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट वाइल्ड कार्ड एस एस एल सर्टिफिकेट फॉर आवर कस्टम डोमेन सो आवर डोमेन इज आकाशवाणी डॉट को डॉट इन दिस इज द डोमेन आई ओन पर्सनली सो ऑन दिस डोमेन आई हैव द वाइल्ड कार्ड सर्टिफिकेट सो वट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव क्रिएटेड द सब डोमेन्स लाइक वन सब डोमेन फॉर द पोर्टल विच इज़ अ डेवलपर पोर्टल फॉर द ए पी आई मैनेजमेंट वन सब डोमेन फॉर द गेट वे ए पी आईज एंड देन वन सब डोमेन फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ए पी आई सो इफ़ यू लुक एट हियर दिस इज द मैनेजमेंट ए पी आई सो आई हैव द सब डोमेन फॉर द मैनेजमेंट ए पी आईज एज वेल ओके सो दीज आर द कॉन्फिग्रेशन सेटिंग्स विच वी हैव इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कस्टम डोमेन सो ऑप्शन नंबर वन यू नीड टू सेटअप द ए पी आई मैनेजमेंट विद द इंटरनल मोड सेकेंड यू नीड टू हैव द कस्टम डोमेन कॉन्फिग्रेशन कॉन्फिगर्ड विद ए पी आई मैनेजमेंट विद द वाइल्ड कार्ड सर्टिफिकेट एंड द सब डोमेन्स ओके द सर्टिफिकेट आई हैव अपलोडेड इन द अजियोर की वॉल्ट विच वी आर रीडिंग इट फ्रॉम द सर्टिफिकेट वी आर रीडिंग इट फ्रॉम द की वॉल्ट इट सेल्फ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इन साइड द वर्चुअल नेटवर्क सब नेट विच इज योर ए पी आई मैनेजमेंट सब नेट वी यू नीड टू हैव द NSG configured because as per the Microsoft documentation, if you configure the API management internally, then by default your traffic will be blocked by the load balancer, internal load balancer of the API management. So in order to allow the certain specific traffic, you need to have the NSG configured. So this is the NSG configuration looks like. Nothing specific which we have used. This is totally given by the Microsoft documentations. So I can. give you the link here so this is the link which is been required to set up the nsg and this is what we have done to configure the nsg for our api management this allows you to access the application gateway portal as well as the api so there are number of inbound and outbound rule which you need to configure so this is the setup for the api management okay now just just to show you the api management configuration as is you can see that i have the developer portal as my custom domain url which is portal.akashwani.com similarly the gateway url is api.akashwani.com so that's how the custom domain is working here this is what it's shown and now if i try to open the api management portal here it is navigating to the developer portal so this was about the api management and the virtual network configuration we also have a jumbox virtual machine created with that jumbox we will try to simulate a scenario wherein a internal user is trying to access the api management from that particular jumbox and we will try to simulate as an external user from my local workstation and try to access the api main apis external apis from my machine okay with that let's see how do we configure the application gateway create new application gateway i'll navigate to the application gateway here i'll specify the application gateway name okay i'll keep the tier region as is and the auto scaling also i'll keep the virtual network as the this virtual network and then choose this gateway subnet we need to have a front end ip address So this is going to be our public IP address. We'll have a backend pool. We will call it as a APIM backend. And here we are going to provide the IP address of our API management 10.8.5.5. So this is going to be our backend pool. So we have a backend and the API management created. Let's create a default rule. We'll call this as the app gateway portal rule this rule requires to create a listener and a backend pool so we'll call it as a portal listener choose the front end as the public ip address which is this front end i'll choose the specify the http s port here we'll use the choose a specific certificate here so i'll give it a name as a let's encrypt certificate you can give any name I'll use the user managed identity. So, in order to access the certificate from the key vault, you need to have the managed identity, user managed identity, and this user managed identity should have a get and list certificate property on the over the key vault to fetch the certificate. 
So I already have a wildcard certificate uploaded in my key vault. So I'm going to fetch the certificate from the key vault. Here, as we are using the HTTPS port, so by default with application gateway, you can have only one port if you are using basic type, like I can't have two listener with the same port and be basic type. So if you want the same port to be used, then it has to be multi-site. And now with the multi-site, what we want to do is we want to use this multi-site as it is a portal listener, host name, URL as a host name. So it requires the FKDN name to create the backend pools. So for this back API I'm backend, and this requires to create the HTTP setting. HTTP setting requires to create the connection between your application gateway and the backend with the help of the configuration which we are going to provide in the HTTP setting. So we are going to call this portal HTTP setting. I'm going to use HTTPS and as our API management is using the well-known CA certificates, I'll choose yes, use the well-known CA certificate. I'll use the option as a override host name because we want to override the host name when it tries to connect to the API management. I'll click add. So for with that, I'll create the application gateway and then we'll add a additional settings once the application gateway will be created. While the application gateway is uh, creation is in progress, what we will do, we'll, we'll set up our DNS zone with the public IP address. So this is the gateway public IP address, which will be associated with the application gateway. And then I will, I'll open the GoDaddy domain, the domain which we are going to use for this demonstration. This is the domain. Now with this domain, we'll append the setting of uh, a record. So if you'd like to use the a record of subdomain API, so I'll update the appropriate certificate, uh, appropriate IP address, which is the public IP address. So that with this subdomain, which is API dot the akashwani.co.in it will route to route the traffic over this particular IP address. Similarly, I would like to route the traffic of the portal portal.akashwani.co.in I will write to route the traffic to the public IP address of the gateway. So I'll save this. So now if I try to just ping this API address, this should resolve to the IP address which we have just set. As you can see that it is resolving to the IP address which we have just now set in the DNS zone, which proves that our DNS resolution is working fine. With the DNS, I already have the let's encrypt certificate validated. So this is also which you may want to configure it if it is not already there. So this is our API management backend. This is the HTTP setting which we have set up. When you set up the HTTP setting from the Azure portal, it creates the custom prop automatically. And this is the listener which we have. This listener is basically having, this listener is associated to the rule which we have it here. So rule says this is the listener and this is going to be the backend and it will use this HTTP setting in order to connect to the back. So the application de gateway deployment is completed. Now if I just quickly browse the health of the application gateway just to check the backend health working fine. So I'll go to the backend health prop and then within the health prop if you are using the portal health prop then make sure it's pointing to the sign in url i'm just testing it save it it's working fine so at the moment we just have the configuration for set accessing the portal as your api management portal so let's try to use the api management portal if we are able to access it so as you can see that when i browse the url portal.akashwani.co.com in this is basically navigating the traffic to the api management and i am able to access the api management developer portal with that url it means that the traffic is going via the application gateway so that that proves that our api management is working fine now in the api management we do have two different type of apis so this is the demo conference api this api is basically you can call, treat this as in external API. So if you 
look at here i've just posted a suffix as an external so it means that any operations within this api we need to access via the external url the url with the external tag and this is what we have configured to allow access to the external partners whereas we also have certain number of internal apis configured so which has the internal tag so it means if somebody is trying to access the apis internally internal apis they should not allow any apis to be exist so i have a postman application open at the moment so we do have certain number of apis here so at the moment if you look at our api test so this is our api management product key this is our host name which we have for our api management to access the api this is the host name for api.akashmani.co.uk so if you look at here we need to browse the apis via this particular url so i'm going to use this as my url and these are the different operations so i'll be using this host name which is api dot and then this is the external session as i'm trying to access this api from my workstation so it will be treated as the external user so let's see if it returns any result so it says that it hasn't found anything uh, on the application gateway so it's uh, in the application gateway itself it's returning an error similarly if i try this it's returning the same thing uh, similarly if i try to access the internal api like or the internal url then it obviously it will not recognize this this particular url so it will throw an error okay now the reason for getting the error because as of now our application gateway is just configured to allow access to the api management portal so if you look at the listener listener is listing the traffic on the portal dot azure portal dot akashwani dot com on this particular host name so basically it's forwarding the traffic on on here and when i when when i send that any request it sent forward the traffic over this particular url and it says nothing has been found uh, let's configure the application gateway to allow access to the apis so for this first of all we will create a sync pool sync pool is the pool which will drain any unknown request and it will not send any traffic for the unknown request to the backend pool so that's the reason in this sync pool i'm going to leave it as empty so which means it's not going to route traffic anywhere so it's just the drain pool basically now let's create the http settings for the api so we are going to call the api http settings this is for the API allowing access to the apis we'll use the https or the port backend 443 we will use the well-known ca certificate because this is the http setting which will be used to connect to the backend pool we will overwrite the host here so i'll copy the host name that's it that is the http setting next we need to create a listener so I'll add a uh, API listener here. I'll use the same front end HTTPS protocol, use the existing certificate. And again, I will use the multi-site listener. And this time we are going to use the API host name. Once the HTTP setting and listeners are created, we'll create a path based routing because we want to make sure that if a request is coming to a specific path, then only allow the connection. Otherwise drop the connection. I'll call the gateway API rule. It will be API listener and then it will use the sync pool by default and then it will use the API HTTP setting doesn't matter. So any traffic which is coming here, it will by default send the traffic to the sync pool provided we have the exception which we are going to add here as a path based rule. What it says that if the path contains external slash anything then we'll call it as external path use the http setting and the backend pool is the apm backend so what we are saying here by default you route the traffic here but exclude if the, the path contains anything external okay let's add this 
and I'll go ahead and create the help prop as well just to test from the API management. So API prop will use the HTTPS, will use the host as this same. So for so for the API path, you need to have a specific path uh, which is forward slash status dash zero one two till nine then a b c d e f so that's what you should be using that's the specific path on which the api management api spawns and then i must attaching this help prop over the api http settings i'll just test it just to make sure it is working yes it is working fine i'll add it and once it is successfully saved we will check our backend hold for health for the application gateway the changes saved successfully let's check the backend health for our application gateway so the application gateway is responding okay with the with both the http settings now let's test the api so again i'll go and use the same get session or the same url and let's see if it works as you can see it's responding 200 so i'm getting a response 200 as the external user will try another operation yes i'm getting 200 response for this as well i'll just try one more 200 response for this as well now if we will try anything apart additional let's say if i mistype or just type it as an internal because we do have the sessions url or the internal as well then let's see if it sends the response so when i try anything apart from external it means the traffic is basically going to the sync pool and then application gateway is rejecting such traffic by not allowing the traffic to send to the backend pool and that's the reason i'm getting the 502 error from the application gateway itself that's how our api management is protected via the application gateway now this is for a scenario for the external customer now let's test the internal customer okay so for the internal user i am logged into my jump box so this is a jump box so within the jump box we are basically using the host entry to connect to our api management so now if I try to access the API management from the internal as an internal customer, I will I'm getting a 200 response. Whereas if I try as in X from here, I'm getting 200 response, but this time it's going over the internet, right? So now if, let's see if it works for 10.8.5.5. No, it says it's not respond because the by default API management doesn't respond to the IP addresses. This is something you should remember. So it always respond over the custom domain name or the domain names. That's the reason we have added the host entry. So if you don't want to use the host entry, what you can do here is you can use the Azure private DNS zone service, which is a pass service. I'll show you. So with this Azure private DNS zone, you can create a private DNS zone matched to your DNS zone. You can link your virtual network with that DNS zone, air records to your private DNS zone. And then when you will try to access this from the internal user, internal traffic, then it will resolve the DNS zone to the private IP address. You don't need to add the host entry. So that's the permanent configuration which you want to do. For just temporary workaround, I've just used the host entry. With that, we have successfully set up the API management and application gateway wherein we are just allowing a traffic from the external user to only to the external APIs and anything apart from external APIs we are blocking the connection and the connection is going to the backend pool uh, going to the sync pool similarly from the internal user we are sending the traffic directly to the API management and this is basically calling the backend APIs. So this is how you can configure the end-to-end -end security with the application gateway. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video